Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Bow MIDI Translator to provide LED feedback to your controller. Here is a block diagram of what we'll be doing. The MIDI through path will be allowing all MIDI to pass through to your application untouched. We will use a translator to modify the LED feedback to toggle the LED on the MIDI controller. We start with a blank project file. First we'll define the launch control as our input device for the MIDI controller and we'll create an alias called application for the output device. We'll set the alias to point to Bohm MIDI Translator 1 virtual port. We select the ports we want to use and then draw a line between them to allow the MIDI data to go through untouched. Now we create a preset to house the translators that we're going to need. Unlike the MIDI through path, here we're going to use launch control for both input and output. We do this at the preset level. All translators within that preset will use that routing. Now we'll set up a translator for the first button on our controller. I use the capture MIDI in order to capture the input from that translator. I press a button on my controller to capture the incoming MIDI message. I then click on the desired message to move it to the translator's incoming trigger. I turn off the swallow option to allow the MIDI message to go through the MIDI through path. Now we'll set up some rules to handle the toggle capability. We'll use the global variable GA to handle the state of the toggle button. Use the exclusive OR operator to toggle GA between a value of 1 and 0. We add two other rules to allow the output to be either a value of 0 or 127. We capture the input message again for output. Although we'll use the local variable PP, which is the variable that we modified to send back to the controller. If you look here, the original message going to Bohm MIDI Translator Virtual 1 port is untouched, but the message going back to the controller is toggling between 0 and 127. And here is a short demonstration with the controller in use. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, go to www.bohm.com.